All right, so I've been using these Baofeng radios for a while, and they're pretty good, but the problem with them is... They're, they're limited to analog channels, so while you can pick up a lot of cool stuff with them, like different ham radio uh, repeaters, and certainly some, like, maybe smaller sheriff departments, all of the big police departments are uh, at least using some kind of digital, digital radio, and these just can't demodulate the digital radio. These are, like I said, just analog FM uh, receivers. So... Um, if you want to pick up digital radio on the cheap, right, uh, so, like a handheld like this that can pick up the digital P25 radio from like Uniden is maybe 600 bucks and I uh, don't really care enough to pay that much for that. So to pick up those kind of signals on the cheap, you get one of these dongles, the RTL SDRs, and uh, these are like 30 bucks, but of course the problem with these is they need something to plug into and you need to run some software. Um, it's not all contained in here. This is just the dongle that'll hang off your computer and typically your, your computer, computer will run some, some software to do all the processing. So that's cool and all, but I don't like having my computer tied up running the software for this guy because um, it's actually quite processor intensive and uh, my MacBook you know, fans will start going on overdrive, and yeah, it's just not something that I want to do. So, I built this guy. I built this guy. So, what this guy is, is a Raspberry Pi 5. And I know some people have tried to do this before with like Raspberry Pi 4s, and they just were not powerful enough. So with the 5, we're kind of unlocking this portable scanner on the cheap functionality. And there's other single board computers that are not Raspberry Pi that probably have enough processing power to do this as well. But Raspberry Pi is cool because there's a lot of community support. So I've got the Raspberry Pi 5 here, HDMI to this, it's just a monitor, touchscreen monitor, um, touches through USB um, with some speakers, onboard speakers. So that's cool, that's kind of all I need. Uh, power supply, this just goes to USB-C uh, power brick. Um, you really should get the one specific for the Raspberry Pi 5 because that has like a five volt, five amp mode, uh, but I'm just using like a MacBook um, power brick, uh, which it doesn't like actually, but we'll get to that in a little bit. And then I just got the USB going to the dongle with the antenna there. I don't think this antenna is even for the right frequency range, but it works fine. And uh, let's let's boot it up. So I actually have a few versions of the software on here. Um, this one's a little bit more slick because we're running the Pi in headless mode and only launching the uh, SDR software. Um, so there's no other desktop stuff going on, which you'll see in a second here. Cool. So here we are. I've got it configured to load it up like LAPD channels. And just like that, we're listening to P25 radio. So, we'll take it. maybe let's. 42 on 62 on 4, 60 So, yeah, um, like I said, I've configured this thing with the uh, LAPD channels. And I suggest doing that on your computer and just loading in the um, XML file, which defines basically how this whole software um, operates in terms of what you're listening to, what you're recording, and yeah, that that's about it. So this software is called SDR Trunk, and setting it up was pretty easy, pretty straightforward, um, especially on the desktop mode. So 
it was a little bit harder to do it in this like headless mode where this is the only thing running. Um, but I will show you exactly how I did that.